William Buchanan uh, was born a slave in Jamaica in 1800. Um, and he fought in what they call the Christmas Day or Baptist Day Rebellion. And for his troubles, he actually got transported to the colony of New South Wales in 1836 on the convict ship, the Muffet. He actually arrived with 18 other convicts from uh, the West Indies. And when he arrived here, very quickly he took uh, a reckoning of the place and somehow managed to escape and became a bushranger and he actually rode up and down along what we call Old South Head Road. Uh, he was captured and then he was sentenced to three years in leg irons. He eventually got a ticket of leave in 1847 and he was sent off to Goulburn. And the last thing I read about him was that he uh, had a conditional pardon in 1851. So finally after 50 years from being a slave to a convict, he was a free man. Well, look, when I first saw his uh, indent, you know, I, I had, it was spine tingling. And I just thought, oh my God, here's a fellow Caribbean person that's actually walked through the doors. Because at that point, you know, the, the history was really about Anglo-Celtic men coming through the doors. So to actually discover that they were people of color that came through was really exciting to me. Um, it was also on a personal level, I thought, my God, what a psychological thing he would have, like many convicts, gone through. Imagine being taken away from your home, from your family, from your loved ones, and then being sent off to a place you don't even know where you're going to. I was very excited and humbled and honoured to receive an invitation to be part of Fiona Hall's Who Goes Here. I think it's a brilliant idea and it kind of represents, I realised we couldn't, you couldn't cover everybody uh, of the 50,000 convicts that came through, but certainly the 300 that are represented here kind of represent all the different types of people that actually came through the barracks, whether it's from the convicts orphan girls, uh, asylum women. Um, so it's, it's a very heartfelt way, I think, of actually letting the world know who these people were. And it's, it's pretty practical and realistic because you walk through their lives in a way, um, actually being able to reflect on them and pick up the information and compare. And so it's a fantastic, I think it's a really great exhibition. Mm -hmm.